Okay, starting my enamel powder layer, I'm going to put the sheet glass over my design and use it as a template to follow. Now you can also take the rubbing alcohol and you can clean off any of the Sharpie marks that are left over. It doesn't matter if you don't do that. They will burn out in the kiln. For some people, this kind of bothers them a little bit and they don't like seeing all that marker. So you can take it off if it bugs you. Now what you're going to see me doing next is masking off some of the large rock areas because I don't want to get enamel powder in there. The smaller ones I think I'm just going to leave be and I will be placing my sheet glass on top of some of those layers. But this one here, this is like a really big chunk. So I'm going to go ahead and just use some tape and cover that up so that when I apply the powder, I can just easily avoid that area. Totally optional, okay? So now I'm going to take the glue. And what I'm going to be doing here is creating a dividing line with tape. And I'm gonna add a layer of glue to where I'm gonna apply the powder. I also, I kinda sandwiched two layers of glue. So next, I'm going to sprinkle a base layer. I will add another layer of glue to this and I just drip it carefully in there and then I add a second layer of powder. So once this dries, it's gonna be a nice gradient and I can take off the tape. And then I use some of those, I just use like an old gift card to clean up my line, take off any of the excess, but it's pretty well stuck down to the glass at this point. So a lot of that enamel isn't moving. And I just kind of test a corner with my finger just to see and um, be real careful about how you tilt the glass. If the powder isn't totally secure, you don't want to make it, you know, kind of fall off. So just be careful. Okay, so I've got my first layer of enamel done and I've given this overnight to dry. So what happens is I test a, an area of the enamel that I feel like is a little bit less important, like I'm gonna have trees covering over here. So I just take my finger and that's pretty stuck. It's not moving, but it's a nice powdery layer that's gonna look great when it's done. So now I need to do the, I'm gonna do just a little bit of enameling in the water. And then I'm gonna put some frit on top of that. And then here's my design again, just so you can see that. And then remember from earlier, I did mask out the big rock. Um, I'm not gonna do a heavy layer of enamel where I'm gonna put a piece of sheet glass. So I just kind of taped that off so I could remember where it was. The only problem now is that you're gonna see that I have um, enamel here and I can't tape it. So I don't, want to put tape here I'm sure it'll and I don't know if it'll be okay so what I'm going to do instead is you'll you will see me tape down a sheet of paper okay and then I'm just gonna have to be real careful that I don't brush enamel this direction as I do the water okay okay so here is what my water layer of enamel looks like and again I did glue powder more glue and then a little sprinkle of powder again